This video is meant for a few specific people that I love, and it has to do with some strings that I attach to certain gifts. Maybe you'll find it of value also to share with someone to whom you're giving gifts that have strings attached. So I decided, along with my wife, that we wanted to give some gifts to some people we care about. However, we didn't want those gifts to go for things that we didn't want. Cigarettes, McDonald's, etc., etc. Even if the person to whom we were giving these really wanted to buy those things. And we thought, what kind of gift is the best to give? And we thought about the idea of giving a person a fish and you feed them for the day. Teach a person to fish and you feed them for a lifetime. Well, I've offered to a lot of people to teach them how to fish. Very few take me up on it. Most people think they don't need it, they've already got it figured out. It's just bad, dumb luck that they're not affluent at that point. And uh, yeah, they don't need any of my advice. Okay, I probably don't have the greatest advice myself. So then I think, what else could I give, if not the lessons of how to teach to fish, uh, you know, instead of teaching to fish, what other things could I give? Other than giving a fish that actually just makes the person weaker, because if I give a fish, the person thinks, hey, if I want another fish, all I have to do is go get it from Shepard. I do not want that impression. I want the impression that in order to get a fish, you have to go out and get a fish. And it's probably going to be rough and dirty and hard, and you're going to be tired, and it's going to be frustrating, and it's not going to be easy to get a lot of big fish. However, I do want to help make that easier. So we kind of came up with the idea that we're going to give gifts of fishing hooks, fishing line, boats, uh, not real boats, uh, fishing poles, etc. We're going to give the equipment that allows you to go out and fish for yourself and get what you want. So there will be certain gifts that we give you and then we'll probably point to this video and say, hey, by the way, this video is kind of what we're uh, part of the gift that you're getting. This is the string that's attached is that when we give you this gift of a nice set of screwdrivers, those are not to be given away or bartered or uh, if, if tough times come, taken to a pawn shop and get loaned out if you get some money. It's not what this is for. This is for you to own forever or return to us. So you can look at it as a loan thing. I don't want it to be that. 30, 40, 50 years from now, I want you to look at that set of screwdrivers and still see them there and think about all the wonderful things that you have repaired and built, created with those screwdrivers. Same thing goes with any tools, anything like that, any capital. Capital is essentially means of production. So anything that you are given by us that is a, a tool type of thing, please know that it is not an option to really wish you had a different one and uh, just give this away or throw it away or something. Uh, my hope is that you would have it for many years to come and that if 20 years from now I said, hey, you still have those uh, black screwdrivers and yellow grips? That's how we have got them right in the toolbox here. Uh, or if they wear out, then it would be really cool if you said, shot an email and just said, hey, those screwdrivers you gave me, thanks so much. I fixed a ton of stuff. I just threw them away and bought another pair. Thank you for all you've done. Hey, that'd be really cool for us, wouldn't it? So I guess what I'm saying is, don't, don't make us sorry that we're being generous. I'm giving y'all some stuff. And there are seven people right now that I'm speaking to specifically, and that I'm gonna be sending this video to. Uh, our giving is not strings attached. Dinners, when we go out to dinners, no strings attached. Whatever, let's have fun. But when we're giving solid things of value, keep them, take care of them, make yourself wealthy and happy with those tools because that's what we want for you.